The leadership of Yemen has declared a state of emergency after a bloody crackdown on protesters in the capital Sana'a. The confrontation has left at least 41 people dead and some 300 people wounded. It is by far the most violent crackdown in Yemen since the start of the unrest. The protesters numbered in tens of thousands and started outside the University of Sana'a after the Friday prayers. There were protesters in other parts of the country as well, including the cities of Tayyiz, Ib, Hodeida, Aden and Amran. Until the crackdown on March 18th, about 40 protesters were killed throughout the country. Now that number has doubled. This shows that the regime has resorted to forceful tactics and is trying to intimidate the protesters. The opposition in Yemen is based on unemployed youth, regular laborers, students, Islamists, socialists, Salafists and even some tribesmen with political ambitions. So the opposition is actually fractured but united in their common goal. That goal is to force the president Ali Abdullah Saleh to step down. That includes his politically and military empowered family members. But this will be very hard to accomplish as the president's position has deep roots in the regime, the intelligence apparatus, political and business elite are all dominated by the president's family members, also known as the Sanah tribe. Another thing is that the president has some significant connections and even support from some powerful tribesmen from Yemen. Um, this all makes it very complicated to dismantle the regime because the elite of Yemen is loyal to the president. However, even before the unrest, the president was actually preparing for his departure from politics and his departure will intensify the situation among the regime's ambitious elite and tribal leaders. One of these politically ambitious tribal leaders is Hamir al Ahmar of the powerful Hashid Sheikhdom. Ever since the unrest began, al Ahmar has been calling for the president to step down, but what we are not certain about is the political profile of al Ahmar. Does he want to put his own family members in the government, just like the current president? or is he a genuine reformist? So keep an eye on this guy. Uh, this was a Casimir report by Mishivant and I thank you for watching. So.